it's cold, it's cold, it's snow, it's snowing. What, oh, my toes are already numb. Look at this view. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, look at it. I mean, I'm sure this video isn't doing it justice, but there's these like clouds, and then beyond that, just like mountain, beyond mountain, beyond mountain. Oh, I'm on top of this like little like rock cliff, bald. Oh man. Oh, I'm feeling kind of emotional. Oh, so happy to be back on the trail after that zero in Hiawassee. It's cold, but oh, I'm having a good day so far. Oh, this is too good. Oh, gorgeous. Lion Har, are you a through hiker? Uh, section. Section, nice. Where are we at? Indian Grave this Gap? Is Indian Grave Gap. Nice. Lion right here has got some hot chocolate ready for us on a cold, snowy day. He's got some snacks. Oh, man. Thank you so much for the trail magic. This is My wonderful. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. here. I don't know if you can hear it outside, but uh, the wind is really, really howling. I'm here at um, Sassafras Gap, uh, which is a little camping site south of, uh, not too far south of Deep Gap Shelter. Um, stopped here for the night it's about like 10 miles in. And, oof, I don't know. We should have maybe stopped about two miles back at this place called like Swag of the Mountain or I don't know, it's some weird name. Um, there's a lot of one there. And um, there's howling up here tonight. And I'm about to put my new sleeping bag really to the test here. I mean, it is gonna be, the low is around 28 degrees. So, and the wind, I'm sure it's gonna feel even chillier. Um, and I've been here for several hours now and I put on my camp chores. And <sighs> I'm like food up and everything like that and eat dinner and all that and um now I've just been chilling in my bag listening to podcasts and actually like being cinched up in the bag it does feel pretty warm also it helps that I borrowed hand warmers from Deep and Ashley <laughs> thanks guys uh, I just say like, oh and I have deep <laughs> homemade liner bag sleeping bag liner again that he made I think it's all helping me stay just that much warmer um I'm about to crawl out of my tent and um, go pee one last time before it gets real dark out. I'm gonna get settled in, and I just hope I don't like wake up in the middle of the night, like freezing and unable to get warm. It's always a terrible, terrible experience, and the thoughts that go through your head at like 3 a.m. and you're just so cold. It's terrible like the worst just like you just think about that you're like gonna die of exposure <laughs> hey guys i survived <laughs> i survived the night out here 
in my new sleeping bag. It was, I actually was really, really, really warm and cozy like all night long. I, like, I can't believe it. Like, I woke up and the condensation from my breath like has turned to ice on the outside of the sleeping bag. But somehow I'm like still warm. <laughs> I was like so, I think my first three nights on the trail like traumatized me and I was convinced I was just gonna be like really, really, really cold again tonight out here. But with this new bag and my new sleeping pad, like I was, I was fine. The wind was just like really loud, but I slept good last night. So Western mountaineering will forever have my <laughs> undying love basically. Cause it was like, I had to sleep with my water filter in, in a, in a bag and put it in a bag and put it in the sleeping bag with me. Cause I'm pretty sure it got like into the mid twenties last night with the wind chill, like if not lower. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to do the, like, put together my shit and dash <laughs> thing. I like, don't want to go outside. Like, don't want to leave my tent at all. Um, but I have to, um, <laughs> it's going to be cold when I get out of this amazing sleeping bag. Uh, it's so cold. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind. It's loud. It's cold. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. Hey guys, I'm here at the water source for Deep Gap Shelter, which is down that way. Enjoying some lunch. Oh, it's delicious. I got some avocado that I packed out of Hiawassee yesterday with this. Oh, this stuff's so good. The tuna, the rice peas, and hot sauce. Oh, and a tortilla. Oh my God. It's like lifting my spirits like right in this spot. So it is cold and it is windy this morning. I, I'm so sorry I haven't been um, taking a lot of video because it's freezing. Like, luckily the spot right here is just like tucked out of the wind and, um, and it's sunny and the sun feels warm so I'm just sitting right here grabbing some lunch and it's really lifting my spirits before I go back up there to the ridge and start walking in the AT again and I think I'm a couple miles out still from um, Dick's Gap where I can like walk to top of Georgia from and I have a resupply box waiting for me there from Sugar Bear so I'm very excited and um I'm not going to stay there for the night though, I'm going to keep going to Plum Orchard after that. Alright guys, talk to you later. but I'm at the top of Georgia. I had some coffee. I got my resupply. This is the trash that's left from resupplying. That's my very heavy-ish now bear bag and I'm repacking my pack. I got some fancy styling new leggings because it is very cold in the morning and then hot later in the day. And these are lighter weight leggings than my other pants. And look at the neck, it's like really cute. That like AT heart on it. So, and I'm gonna do the leggings and shorts combo. I think that's gonna keep me more temperature regulated. Uh, the state is crazy temperature wise. It was just sleeting and like pelting snow at us in the mountains and now it's like 65 and sunny down here at the beautiful top of Georgia. So yeah, bumblebees over here too. We're hey. about to, hey, we're about to head back up to Plum Orchard Shelter. So you're going to show us what some beautiful, wonderful human hiker has, yes, the innovation yes. they've done. So, so we keep seeing these, I don't know, what is this, the mountain laurel or rhododendron? Rhododendron leaves, maybe? So someone keeps putting a leaf in <laughs> it so that there's an actual stream of water that you can fill your bottle up with, or in this case, I've got my your bag little, system little there. bag here. Oh man, that's perfect. Look at that. 
That's some hiker innovation right there. That, that's a fast fill. That's a fast fill. dinner here at Plum Orchard Gap. Have a little uh, cheesy tuna mac and some hot sauce. You know? Oh, nice. No butter, no milk. Just I like the, is that, a, is that a hat? Is that a hat <laughs> hot warmer? Yeah, hat. Nice. Oh, perfect. Hat koozie. Oh my god, how are you guys feeling after today? Uh, feeling pretty drained. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Feeling a lot better now that we're here though. Me too. Alright. Let's see, and for my dinner, I'm having this healthy, healthy ramen <laughs> with uh, Thai peanut sauce and dried veggies and coconut oil and some peanuts. I'm going to add to it after it's done hydrating for some crunch. Should be pretty good. And I'm making myself some tea here. Got some turmeric ginger tea. It's really pretty. Oh, that looks amazing. It's good. It's caramelized. Oh, man. This is AT Cookie Nuts finest, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah. Guys, so this is Plum Orchard Shelter. Staying here tonight with the crew. Got a good group here tonight. It's actually a beautiful shelter. It's like three stories, and um, there's windows on the upper story. I'm actually going to be staying on the first floor just because I like that, um, getting the ability to get in and out easily of the shelter at night. But it's a really beautiful little spot here, tucked away, no wind. It's going to be much, much warmer than last night, which I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> Even though my sleeping bag got me really cozy last night. Oh, it was cold. Won't be the case tonight.